Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality back again for another weekend full of Minecraft adventures. Um, we were <laughs> uh, scouting around the nether binome, uh, or the nether uh, place, that nether place, uh, last episode. So we'll get back there momentarily, but we did say that once we got some ancient debris, which we have in this chest. Uh, yeah, we got 11 of it. It's unfortunate I wanted to get 12, but uh, I guess luck wasn't in our favor, and I am burning through a lot of um, gunpowder. Uh, I only have 14 left. I'm trying to farm or not farm. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I am trying to get... Uh, um, creepers, as they're the ones that drop gunpowder. So I'm trying to hunt them uh, in the night to try and get more gunpowder so I can create more TNT and so I can blow up more lower regions of the nether in hopes to get more um, ancient debris. And we will. Um, I don't have any doubt of that. It's just going to take more time than I sort of have. Uh, but 11 is enough to get started. So what do you do with the ancient debris once you have it? Well, uh, first thing you need to do is uh, take out this iron ore. Actually, you know what? Let's finish it up. But we can put some fuel. Like I said we can put some fuel into our furnace and get it going. Uh, wrong button. Uh, so what you want to do first is you want to smelt the ancient debris so that it becomes netherite scrap. Um, but if only it were that simple, you kind of need a lot of this. Um, that's the reason why I wanted 12. Uh, it would have made three uh, netherite ingots, but I think we can only max out at two. So we'll just get this melted up quickly, and then we'll proceed to the next step. Uh, eventually, we will be turning our diamond armor into netherite, and I want to sort of get the achievement for covering, covering myself in scrap, I think it's called. So that's what that's for. Uh, we'll just drop the gold. The gold is also what's needed for the next step. Uh, so we'll just go back out here. Yep, everything's done. So let's go back here. So after all that is smelted down to netherite scrap, you hit your crafting table and we have it down here. You need four pieces of scrap and four gold ingots, and it's a good thing that gold is so plentiful in the nether, um, to make one netherite ingot. Which is that. So we'll make our other one, uh, and then we'll put stuff back, because there's not much more we can do with that stuff now. Uh, we will sort of upgrade our armors and tools. I want to get that uh, goodly pickaxe uh, converted to netherite, but I also want to get um, is it the mending enchantment on it first. Uh, so that way we can convert any of our experience to fixing the tools without having to uh, waste materials on it. Uh, and if you convert anything to netherite, that means you need to get netherite ingots to fix your tools. Um, so we're not going to do that. Um, you may have noticed that we've gotten another cat. And in fact, we got our cat's breeding. Uh, so yes, I found another village. I tamed another cat and I brought him home so that we can sort of start a family. Because if I did feel like I needed to um, create a creeper farm, Cats might be needed for that, um, but I'm still, I might try creating some stuff um, off camera just because 
since I am working in Bedrock Edition, I don't know whether it'll actually do us any favors to make it one way or another way. So I'll have to try out a couple of things just to see how it works. Since it's something I never tried before, um, I'll wait often to, to do that. But ultimately, I do want to create one just so I can get more gunpowder to create more TNT. Um, just to go over some other things quickly, I made myself a, um, a basalt generator. And all you really need for that is lava and blue ice. Uh, blue ice you can get by combining nine packed ice into a block. And packed ice you can combine nine ice into a packed ice block. Uh, so you need a lot of ice to do that. What I did, I traveled, uh, what was it, north? I think north from my house location. And I found an ice ocean. And it was simple enough to just get blue ice from that. Uh, so yeah, if I... There's the basalt there. So every time the lava hits the blue ice, it generates another block of basalt. And much better, well, other than if it uh, goes into the uh, lava, which, you know, it is what it is. I also put wood behind the basalt just so that if I go crazy with the picking at it here, uh, then I'm not destroying any wall behind it. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But we're not done. I've been sort of... Hello, slime. Uh, we've been sort of... Uh, oh, well, I've been exploring sort of down here. And mine's, <laughs> there's a slime in the minecart, but you know what? You can stick around. Uh, clean this up a little bit. I also cleaned up a little bit of this uh, because I got some rooms or, or hallways just sort of leaving out from that. But the most important thing is right over here... And right over here, just make sure he's there. Yes, I've trapped myself a zombie villager. And he'll stick around, hopefully, because he's got a, a lead. He actually had the lead, but uh, he'll stick around, hopefully. And once we have the ability to cure him, uh, that will be the first one on our agenda. Because we're going to make this villager a, a vendor for getting ourselves the Mending Enchantment books. Uh, so that's nice. Um, yeah, tried to streamline this a little bit, uh, walled off some sections that monsters were coming from, so uh, hopefully everything's a little bit safer down here, at least for the parts that I want it to be. But like I said, we still got some nether exploring to do, so we're gonna go back into the nether because we've been making some uh, um, enhancements to our base there. So let's just quickly get ourselves out of dodge before any monsters attack us. And head on in. So I did a little bit of uh, fixing around here uh, that you may notice. Uh, so I stuck this chest behind me in case I wanted to uh, sort of keep things safe that I don't need here. But we've sort of expanded our base yet again. Um, everything's the same around here. I sort of swapped out um, the regular lanterns for nether lanterns because they're nice and blue. and eerie, uh, which means we've found some soul sand. Uh, everything's the same there. Also decorated our nether portal on this side just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, festive. Um, have some warp fungus in some pots. But we've actually lowered this into a separate room. Yes. Uh, so another uh, lantern there, but we also have nice little staircase going down. So this is sort of our midway point. I made a little room, not for any real purpose. It's sort of isolated to keep monsters away. But if we continue to go down, 
we have, well, we have an Enderman. I don't know if this will double as an Ender Farm, but it's been, <laughs> it's been, uh, been doing me great so far. Endermen just sort of show up in these little pockets, uh, and whenever they do, I'm able to just sort of take them out quickly. Um, but we are here. Uh, let's have some food. Yes, Enderman, what do you want? Oh, yeah, and that's why they show up, because they keep falling down from above, hitting the lava, and then getting all... all butthurt. But they have been uh, pretty good for getting levels. Um, Alright, so I created this lower room, and after many trials and tribulations of trying to get something that was definitely workable, um, we were actually able to mine out to where we needed to be, which was, so if I go down here, that's where we sort of mined out all that um, ancient debris before. This is sort of like that, that lava beach that we found earlier. And had I tunneled this way and sort of cleared all this out, I made myself a nice pathway to where I can sort of go up and connect this with my base. So everything should be nice and secure. Endermen can still get in here, but you know what? I've been with dealing with them a lot lately, so not overly concerned. Um, but what we will do, we have warp fungus on a stick and let's get ourselves a saddle. We got ourselves prepared to get ourselves some striders. And here's a couple that just sort of wandered into here and I close them off. You're normally I would have uh, one strider per, um, I guess, pod here or, <laughs> I don't know what you call them, like ender stables. Um, but if I have, if I have a warp fungus on a stick and if any, like this guy who's nearby, he'll come running because he likes himself some warp fungus on a stick and then I can drop him in here. He's a little bit too small to ride, so you'll just uh, keep him around until he grows up. That's fine. And we'll see if we can get any full size on this this one. Yep, here we go. Hello, fella. Come on in. And that's why we have the gates. So we close them and then say, oh, no, no work fungus for you. Uh, they can't escape. So cool, now we have a full strider stable and an enderman who wishes to die. Uh, oh. um, and yeah, <laughs> because of this, I have no shortage of ender pearls. In fact, I got a surplus. So um, once we start getting ourselves geared to get this. Um, get ourselves to the end, then uh, that's going to happen lickety-split, that's for sure. But for now, uh, let's head off. What we're going to do is we're going to saddle up one of these striders, and we're going to go venture off that away. And I'm hoping that we can find ourselves a quick fortress. We did find something else in the nether, and it will be sort of shown in a future episode, but uh, um, I really need to find a fortress. Uh, all my future plans are sort of riding on it now, so I want to sort of get that accomplished. And I also want to get some more Enderman killed. He went this way. And now he's dead. Uh, okay, so let's see what we can do. Uh, Alright, so same thing with any of the other animals that you need to saddle. Just get yourself a saddle in hand and then you're able to... Where is that strider? Uh, you know what? I don't... <laughs> I don't want to die, but you know what? I'm not going to be very sore if that's ultimately what happens. 
So, um, like I said, you're going to have to work with these guys in order to get them to run out the door, out the door. You can do it. Yes. All right. Now we're in the lava and we're booking it. So we're going to head off exactly the way we had sort of pointed ourselves, which looks like it's still going to be some more warped fort, uh, forest. But I'm hoping we can find some signs of a fortress as well, because uh, at least if we do, we can hopefully take down the coordinates and you know, possibly we can uh, sort of um, tunnel underneath all this lava towards it. Otherwise, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. And hopefully we don't find any ghasts or anything else that will knock us off because uh, yeah, we're not surviving this if uh, we when we have a uh, zombie penguin on a strider. You know what? He is more than welcome to uh, to do that. Uh, but let's go this way just because I want to avoid that ghast that's up there. We got a very large uh, crimson forest here. Uh, and I'll say it again, uh, some of the, um, now that you got this lava fall uh, thing generated to the right of us, like some of the nether um, sceneries are just sort of majestic. You sort of get used to the overworld because it's so, it's so like the real world, but uh, when you come into the nether and you start exploring around, um, <laughs> very nice. Home sweet home. Almost there. Uh, got a little lost <laughs> during the during the travels, but uh, you know what? No, we're no worse for wear, and we didn't actually end up in the lava. We took a dip under one of the uh, lava falls, but uh, you know, we came out relatively unscathed. All right, so let's park this bad boy. Cause he is. He is tired. Thank you, sir. You stay here. Uh, let's get him. I don't want to dismount at a possibility where I could. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, back on solid ground and safe. I should give him something to munch on, but I just don't have it with me right now. <laughs> So for now, we'll put that away, we'll get our pearls, because it's not like we don't have enough of those. 
See what I mean? And, uh, hey, you know what? Cameron don't belong in here. Do they, little fella? Alright, so let's, uh, let's head on up. Uh, disappointing, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to find ourselves a fortress another way, I guess. Because uh, there definitely wasn't any off that way. Alright, so we went back to the overworld, we got ourselves uh, another shield, and we're going to venture off in this direction, hopefully without any ender interfe uh, interventions. Uh, but you can see they're really going to town on my ground here, so, um, geez. Uh, okay, nope, not this way. We're going this way. I've created... this way. Uh, first we'll get ourselves down. And then we'll not interfere with any of the local wildlife that wishes to do us harm. Uh, what I did was I carved out a little hole in my scouting. Marked it with um, hello. We have had enough of you guys from the last episode, so please go away. What? Oh my. What is going on? Okay, you know what? We are not going to deal. bugger off. Uh, okay, so we got ourselves into this salt binome, salt delta, and uh, we carved ourselves a little hallway and bridge over this lava, uh, and then we're getting into some soul sand. And soul sand is a little slow to traverse, but at least it's something different. But we found and I made this little cave in preparation for uh, coming down here. Uh, yep, yeah, all safe. Because we have ourselves a piglin bastion. So, since fortresses are not on the agenda today, uh, ow. Oh. Uh, apparently, ooh, that's a brute, that's a brute. I am so dead. So dead am I. I am so dead. Oh, oh, those guys with the belts, they're a brutes, and they are powerful. Oh, look at how... Ow! <sighs> Alright, yes, Piglin Brute. Uh, and now I have to go and get my stuff. I can craft myself another weapon and armor, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and get the stuff that I already had. At the very least, I can try and get some stuff, dash out, and hopefully get away before he does me any more harm. I was just about to eat. Anyway, <laughs> my plan was to, uh, take on that Piglin Bastion and, uh, well... <laughs> I took it on. Didn't take it on well, but I did take it on. Oh, I got that stupid magma block to contend with as well. Erg. Alright, better make this quick. And the piglet bird is right there. Get my stuff, get my stuff, get my stuff. Huh.
I do not like them. I will tell you that right now. I am not too happy with the Piglin Brutes. But since I'm a glutton for punishment, let's try it again. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, first off, equip our stuff. Uh, so let's get ourselves. Piglin nasties. It's that almost got me into the lava. Um, getting hairy here. And I do hear some of the others. horrendous. I've never heard that before. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> I'm just 
tiptoeing around this piglin bastion. I know there are ghasts around and I don't want them to start firing us from overhead, but we got ourselves a chest that I want to check out quickly. I uh, also want to make sure that there isn't any Erg piglins that will be coming up to ruin our day behind us. And um, that right there is also nether wart, and that is one of the two materials we need for potion making. Um, it's not going to do us any goods without the blaze rods, but I think we left our accent base. Work. As long as everyone is sort of chilled. Stressful, stressful. But we are doing all right. Other than the fact that we died a bunch of times. I know there's some people that sort of uh, navigate through these things pretty easily, but I am not one of them. Ooh. With, uh, with fear of uh, roots and falling in lava and, and just having something unsuspected ruin my day, so...
Please stop being on fire. chest and another skeleton but it doesn't sound like we have any piggies and I'm gonna make sure I don't drop into anything that is considered fatal CD. So let's <laughs> All right, looking good, looking good. Uh, what I'm going to do I may come back here just to sort of finish it off, but I think <laughs> Good. As far as getting all the major sort of stuff we want out of this, um, so I'm just wondering if I can shortcut my way to the middle. Yeah, that was the room I was down. So, ow. Um, no, no, where am I? Where am I? Ah, where am I? I think I'm good. All I need to do is break down this wall. And then there's a skeleton right there that needs to die. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. A little bit nervous, but I think we will take our leave. Make a tactical retreat. We've gotten more than enough goodies from here. And that is sort of what a... Piglin Bastion is like. So, yay. Let's collect our bounty, make sure we can get back to our home base in one piece. Hmm. And then it's just a matter of uh, what do I want to take? And of course, after all that stress, this is the thing that made it all worthwhile. This is the first time I've actually picked up the Pig Step CD, so let's give it a spin. Okay guys, so we got back and got our stuff sorted, and um, for whatever reason, uh, this pick step CD doesn't seem to want to play and I've crafted a new jukebox and posted it in this uh, Nether base of mine just to verify that it wasn't my jukebox or the overworld or something weird like that So here's my cat disc. I'm able to play it just fine Yet when I get this pick step Doesn't seem like it's playing anything so that's kind of a bummer Okay guys, like I had sort of mentioned in the last clip, uh, there did seem to be something wrong. I guess it's a known bug for the Pocket Edition or the Mobile Edition of Minecraft uh, Bedrock. Anyway, I was able to get through it by just going to the search menu and typing in music. There is a pack from Minecraft called Minecraft Music. Uh, I'm not going to download it again. Uh, I didn't have to do anything other than download the pack, um, but your mileage may vary. There are other sort of helpful YouTube tips on how to unload the pack if you're working on Android. 
But in any case, um, that was able to correct my problem. So let's head back on in and we'll show you what I mean. All right, we're back at our nether base right in front of our good old boom box. Uh, so let's grab the pig step CD and let's drop that beat. Awesome stuff, glad I got the disc. But I think that'll do it for this episode. If you did enjoy my adventures down here in the nether, uh, drop me a like, hit me up with comments, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile goodness coming soon. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!